Going to start things off with your Davidson Sons USRA B Modified Heat Race number one. Starting on the pole is going to be the number 32 machine of Kelly Chick Hicks out of P Ridge, Arkansas. On Kelly's outside, going to be the number 22 of Andy Off. Coming all the way from Bentonville, Arkansas. Inside row number two is going to be the number 66 machine of Ryan Gilmore from Springfield, Missouri. On his outside, Mr. Phil Jackson in the 216, driving all the way from Marshfield, Missouri. Starting inside row number three, had some help from flagman Chip Abramovitz earlier in the day. I've been pronouncing this guy's name wrong for eight years. Matthew, Matthew, and then I just pronounced his first name wrong. That's a really good job, Josh. Matthew Manus in the 9M out of Republic, Missouri. And on his outside, going to be Hoyt Miller in the number 56. Getting to Kelly Hicks, Andy Oss, row number one, Ryan Gilmore, Philip Jackson, row number two, Matthew Manus. And Hoyt Miller in the rear there. Just got some water down on the track. We're going to go ahead and get that worked in. Again, big thank you to some of our flag sponsors. We got Ozark Fiber sponsoring our restart zone. Ozark Fiber, local broadband, delivering a global connectivity at the speed of light. Sponsoring our green flag this year's Freedom Bank. Freedom Bank banking on freedom for generations to come. Joplin Lock and Key sponsors our caution flags here. With over 20 years of locksmith experience, Joplin Lock and Key offers automotive, commercial, and residential locksmith services. And again, all of our hot laps and heat races sponsored by JM Pallet Company, Southwest Missouri's leader in pallets. Looks like we're getting them bunched up. We're ready to go. Kelly Chick Kicks brings them around three and four. Looking for that Ozark Fiber Restart Zone. And we're racing at Monette Motor Speedway. Three wide right off the bat. Watch out. You know who's coming? Ryan Gilmore out front. Andy Oss right behind him in the number 22 machine as they make their way into turn three and four. Ryan Gilmore. Gonna lead lap number one here. Ryan Kilmore out front by seven tenths of a second already over the number 22 machine of Andy Oss. Kelly Chick kicks Matthew Manus rounding out your top three, four. Manus jumping around Kelly Chick kicks when I was looking down. Ryan Gilmore, Andy Oss, and Matthew Manus, your top three. Andy Oss 1.767 seconds behind. Gilmore running at 18.291 that last time by. That's faster than anybody by a whole second. Andy Oss running at 19.306 that last time by. Oss gets a little faster here on lap number three, running a 19.225. Gilmore still running at 18.43 and nine here. Coming out halfway. And your Davidson Sons USRA B modified heat race number one. Ryan Gilmore, still your leader out front. Got a three and a half second lead over the 22 of Andy Oss. Matthew Manis catching up to Ost here. Just past your halfway mark. Manis with a good run down the backstretch, looking at the bottom side of Oss as they come through three and four. Tucks are right back in behind. Gilmore extending that lead out another second, 4.403 seconds ahead of Andy Ost. Manus shows him his nose. They're side by side as they go through three and four. He backs off just a little bit. Andy Ost on the top side in that black and pink, I guess it's orange, black and orange machine. Matthew Manis on the bottom. Now the white and black number 9M. Hoyt Miller. Creeping up to that fourth spot. Kelly Chick Hicks rounding out your top five. Three way a battle for that number two spot. Meanwhile, out front, your leader taking the white flag here at 66 of Ryan Gilmore. Had a six and a half second lead last time. Extends it out now over the number 22 by a distance of 7.109 seconds over the 22. 
Mains, one more last ditch effort, try to get around him. Meanwhile, out front, 66 Ryan Gilmore, old familiar, taking the win there. Nose to nose at the flag stand. It was Andy Austin, number 22 machine, taking that second spot. Ryan Gilmore in that 66 machine taking the win there. 8.245, the distance of victory over the number 22 of Andy Ost. Ost finishing in that second spot. Matthew Manus in third in that 9M. Hoyt Miller and Kelly Chick Kicks rounding out your top five. Your Davis and Sons US Army B Modified Heat Race. Number two, making their way onto the track now, starting on the pole. National points leader, also your points leader here for your Davis and Sons USRB modified at Monet Motor Speedway, the double zero of Kaysen Harris. Kaysen coming from Billa Vista, Arkansas. On his outside, Frank Wachowicz in the 37W. Inside row number two is going to be Patrick Lewis in the 24L, coming from Wellsville, Missouri. On his outside, the number 45 of Dan Culp. And starting in the rear there, the number 52 out of Miami, Oklahoma, going to be Brett Testerman. So Case and Harris, Frank Wachevitz, row number one, Patrick Lewis and Dan Culp, row number two, Brett Testerman in that number 52 machine in the rear. Eight laps, the distance here in your day with the Suns, USRAB modified heat race, number two. Case and Harris looking for that Ozark Fiber restart zone as he makes his way around three and four, hits that skinny pedal. We're green flag racing. Case and Harris, your leader, heading down the back stretch. Number 37 over Sevitz in that second spot. Dan Culp settling in third here. Culp gonna look at the inside, trying to take that second spot away. Case and Harris going to lead a lap number one. Frank Wachevitz holds on to that second spot for now. Dan Culp then get together with the 37 of Frank Wachevitz. That will bring out the first Joplin lock and key caution here. Able to get one lap in the books here on our Davis and Sons USRB Modified Heat Race number two before the Joplin Lock and Key caution flag comes out. Case and Harris still your leader. Caution coming out for Dan Culp and Frank Wachevitz getting together there. Coming out of turn number two. Got to move the 24L of Patrick Lewis up to that second spot. Brett Testerman will be on his inside. Patrick Lewis electing to go to that top side. Lights are out. We're ready to get it on here again in your Davis and Sons USRA B modified heat race. So number two. Flagman Chip Babramovitz excited for the race as well. Lights are out. Case and Harris brings them around three and four, looking for that Freedom Bank green flag. Another good start for Case and Harris. Watch out. Patrick Lewis on that top side. He'll lose the spot to Dan Culp. Culp able to get back up to that third spot. Case and Harris coming around lead lap number two here. Dan Culp in that second spot. Brett Testerman holding on to third. Patrick Lewis looking at that top side. Case and Harris out front by seven tenths of a second. Over the 45 machine. Colt running just a little bit loose tonight. Case and Harris on that double zero machine out front by a half a second. Dan Culp right there in his tire tracks. 
Gonna be halfway through your Davidson Sons USRA B modified heat race number two. Case Nairis extended that lead out just a little bit. Looked like Culp was catching up. A little slip of the tongue. And he's half a straightaway back. Translates to 1.35, two seconds behind that double zero. Able to narrow the gap there on lap number five. Just one second separates your leader in that second place. Dan Colt starting to get away from that second bunch. Again, Brett Testament in that third spot. Frank Wachevitz and Patrick Lewis rounding out the field here. Two to go in your Davidson Sons USRA B modified heat race. Number two flagman Chip Abramovitz groups that white flag. He's ready to show it to that double zero of Case and Harris out front by 1.11 over Dan Culp. There it is in the air. Double zero of Case and Harris one more time around for your national points leader. Running his fastest lap that last time by 18.565 in that double zero machine. Checkered flag coming out for your winner, the double zero of Case and Harris. Taking home the win, 45 of Dan Culp coming in that second spot. Brett Testerman in the 52 earns a third spot. Frank Wachevitz and Patrick Lewis rounding out your field. These guys can't stop racing. They're still going. National points leader Case and Harris taking the win there in that one, double zero machine. Again, running his fastest lap, Dan Culp, and him both running a 18.530. Exact same time on that last lap, 18.530. Case and Harris taking the win over Dan Culp by 1.227 seconds over the 45 machine. All right. Time for your Bombers Heat Race. Number one, going to be starting on the pole, driving the 82X machine. It's going to be Evan Clark out of Pineville, Missouri. On his outside is going to be Brandon Bishop in the 3J, coming all the way from Republic. Again, Tyler Dawson purchasing this car at 2.30 this afternoon. Drives it straight to Mona Motor Speedway. He's coming all the way from Republic, Missouri, in that number 45, Quavalier. On his outside, Josh Sharpley, also a substitute driver there in the number 85. Normally, Sean Seward in that 85 machine. So Evan Clark and Brandon and Bishop, row number one. Tyler Dawson, Josh Sharpley, row number two. Lights are out. We're ready to get it on. Green flag, here we go. Three wide right off the bat here. <laughs> Looks like the 3J machine are gonna take the initial lead. That's Brandon Bishop in that black and gold. And number three. Tyler Dawson trying to reel him in here. He may have a pot of gold there. Coming around to lead lap number one is going to be Brandon Bishop in the 3J machine. Tyler Dawson half a second behind him. 85 of Josh Sharpley in third. Maybe problems on the 82X machine of Evan Clark. As he pedals it around, oh, turns one and two. Meanwhile, coming to three and four, Brandon Bishop in that 3J machine. Had a 5.52 second lead last time by. Tyler Dawson narrows it to a .44. Josh Sharpley, another 4.6 seconds back. Tyler Dawson really starting to narrow that gap as they head through three and four. Bishop out front here. Three laps in the books for the 3J machine. Tyler Dawson looking at that bottom side. He's got good traction. Maybe problems on the 3J machine to Brandon Bishop. He's slow down the backstretch. Your new leader, the 45 of Tyler Dawson, heading into three and four. Tyler Dawson, your new leader here. Brandon Bishop in that 3J. 
5.6 seconds behind. Josh Sharpley catching up to him here as they go make their way around one and two. Sharpley passes him on the bottom side. White flag out for your leader, number 45 of Tyler Dawson. Sharply gets a little overzealous. It's a drag race, question mark. Sharply with that second spot. Brandon Bishop gathers her back up. He's in that third spot. Meanwhile, coming off a of turn number four, your winner, number 45 of Tyler Dawson. Whoa, Josh Sharply getting crazy. Can he hold that second spot? He was trying to sling it in there. You can't do that with that, dude. He holds on for that second spot. Congratulations. He's normally our photographer out there giving his best shot at racing. Tyler Dawson in the 45-year winner. Josh Sharpley in the 85 coming in second. And Brandon Bishop rounding out the field there. All right, heat race number two. Fixing to come onto the track, question mark. Gonna put a little more water down low. Stop it, stop it. Got no, new microphones this week. We're gonna see if that'll help the problem. Got a new problem now. Again, if you haven't already, go down and visit my friends. We got all the food trucks down there. We got Philly D's with quality cheesesteaks. My friends with the Wildcat ice cream right outside the gate there. We got Miss Amanda Faulkner with Fairy Tale Creations. She does an awesome job down there. She's got her cups, she's got earrings, she's got pins, all kinds of creations. And last but not least, we got Fresh Squeeze Lemonade from Lemmy Boba. I hope I'm saying that right what's in my head all the time. Lemmy Boba. All right, Bomber Heat Race number two making their way onto the track now. Going to be starting on the pole. Well, maybe I should use this time to mention some of my sponsors. And the first sponsor I want to mention is, Min mention is Mr. Show Me Dirt. My man Tombo promotes everything dirt, and he does it at a really high level with his pride and joy. Show me dirt. Show me do dirt. Well, let me start over. I'm sorry, Tombo. I ruined your ad. <laughs> Show me dirt is your go-to source for Southwest Missouri's exhilarating dirt track racing scene. Join them on one of their many social media outlets. I follow them on everything I can. Stay on the bottom, driver. Stay on the bottom. Don't want to miss that racing action. No matter where he goes, he's all over the place. Lebanon, Midway, Nevada, Hillbilly Speedway, Twister Alley. And, of course, of course, Monet Motor Speedway. Be sure to subscribe for thrilling racing action. And if you want to access our feature races videos early and you want to support Mr. Show Me Dirt, Become a member by following the link pinned at the top of his Facebook page. We usually broadcast the heat races on Facebook like we're doing now, and then you can catch the replays on YouTube. All right, once, once the water trickles past you, I need you guys to roll the high side now. Roll the high side. All high right. Side of the speedway. High side of the speedway. We also got a new track photographer this year, and by no means is he new to racing photography. We have Mr. Daryl Powers jumping on board with us for the 2024 racing season. Here at the Grand Old Lady, I've been using all his pictures for all of the uh, posters you see promoting the racetrack this year. I've been having a lot of fun doing that. I hope you all share and like all those. All right, lights look to be out. Starting on the poles, it's going to be the double zero of Paul Colvin out of Taunty Town, Arkansas. On his outside is going to be the number 29 of Daryl Riddick out of Aurora, Missouri. Inside row number two is going to be Michael Gillis, the number 33 machine out of Clever. On his outside, James DeWitt, current points leader out of Pineville. And starting in the rear, Mr. Zachary Riddick in the 32. We are green flag racing here, double zero. Call Paul Colvin with your lead off the initial. We are all over the place. James DeWitt way high. 
Colvin, your initial leader, as he makes his way down the backstretch, 29 of Daryl Riddick in his tracks, 33 of Michael Gillis in that third spot. Double zero of my, Paul Colvin, normally runs a Hornet class. Out front here, and your bomber heat race number two, Daryl Riddick in that second spot. Third place, Michael Gillis slid way high in that moisture. Watch out, he's got the 930 of James DeWitt all over his back bumper. Now to his inside, gonna try to take that third spot away. Slides it right in there. Paul Colvin still out front, running a 21.663 that last time by. The Daryl Riddick in that second spot. And a side-by-side -side battle between the 930 and James Gillis. 930 and James DeWitt on that bottom side. 33 of Michael Gillis on the top side. DeWitt able to get around him. He'll assume that third position now. Paul Colvin, still your leader at the halfway mark. Daryl Riddick just 2.272 seconds behind in that number 29 purple and white machine. James DeWitt in that third spot gets a little high. 33 oh Michael Gillis gets it under him. That's a good a battle for that third spot. Thought there was going to be a little bump there, but there's not. Paul Colvin takes the white flag out front of your bomber. He raced number two here, Daryl Riddick. Right goes to his inside. Problems on the double zero machine. He'll have to pull off. Daryl Riddick, your new leader. 930 of James it way high. He's going to pull off as well. Then it was just two. 29 of Daryl Riddick going to take the win here. And your bomber, hit your ace number two. Michael Gillis taking home that second spot. And that was it. Just the two. Just the two finishing that one up. All right, Pure Stock's making the way on the track now. Got two heat races here in our Pure Stock. Starting out front of your first heat race in your Pure Stocks here. Coming all the way from Monat, Missouri, the number 72 of Brad Ost. Substitute driving that number 72. On his outside, the number 64 out of Aurora, Missouri. It's going to be Brandon Sanders. Inside a row number two. It's been a minute since he's been here. He's still hanging on to third or fourth in points there. It's going to be Landon McLaughlin, another 17 out of Aurora, Missouri. And on his outside in a brand new machine. They're going to be that 34 of Sean Coates flag carrier for us tonight. Starting in the rear there are going to be the 05 of Mr. Grayson McKinney coming from Springfield, Missouri. Austin Sanders, row number one, McLaughlin Coates. Row number two, McKinney, right there in the rear. Lights are out. We're ready to get it on. Been about 20 years since Brad Ost has been in a pure stock. We'll see what he can do here as he's ready to get this thing started. Green flag, here we go. Ost moves up to that top side, protecting that top line. Going to be slick on the bottom there. He holds on to the lead going down the back stretch. McLaughlin in that second spot. Grayson McKinney already up to third. Going around the lead lap number one is going to be the 72 of Brad Oss. Watch out, Landon McLaughlin on that top side. Going to try to take the lead here. Brad Oss out front, that number 72 machine. McLaughlin looking at the top side. Grayson McKinney right behind him. 
Who's going to lead lap number two here? It's going to be the number 17 machine of Lana McLaughlin. Grayson McKinney going to try to follow him on that top side. Brad Oss falling back to third. Coates next in line there, and the number 34 machine going to go on that top side. Lana McLaughlin out front of your pure stock heat race number one, two second or point two seconds the distance between them. Good a battle for the lead here. McLaughlin on the top side, McKinney on the bottom. They're nose and nose. McLaughlin going to lead another lap here. Landon uh, running his fastest lap so far with a 20.755. Still neck and neck, door to door. Getting just past your halfway point. Grayson McKinney trying to take the lead here. Coming off the bottom side. They're still nose and nose. McLaughlin scored in that number one spot still. Grayson McKinney on the bottom side doing all he can to clear him. Sean Coates got the best seat in the house. He's right behind him waiting for a pass to happen. Again, coming through three and four. Grayson McKinney with the advantage on the bottom side. Grayson McKinney, your leader, but just by a hair. Two one hundredths of a second between Elena McLaughlin and Grayson McKinney. Still neck and neck. Sean Coates going to be up in this battle here as the white flag comes out on this one. White flag for your leader, Grayson McKinney. Brandon Sanders dropping out. We're still side by side. Sean Coates going to try to get entered in this one here. Grayson McKinney on the bottom side in that 05 machine. Landon McLaughlin on the top side. Ladies and gentlemen, who's going to win it as they come to the flag stand? McLaughlin on the top side. Knows it, no. Landon McLaughlin scored as your winner. Landon McLaughlin scored as your winner on that one. Then in the number 17 machine, Grayson McKinney just four one thousandths of a second between Landon McLaughlin and Grayson McKinney. An exciting one here in your pure stock seat race. Number one, Sean Coates, six tenths of a second behind those guys. What a race from our pure stock seat race. Number one, Brad Ost finishing that four spot. Brandon Sanders pulling off there with one lap to go. My goodness, what a race on that one. Heat race number two getting ready to make their way onto the track now. Starting on the pole, your current points are the number 69 of Dylan Bowman out of Purdy, Missouri. On his outside, the man chasing him with nine wins so far this year. Dale Sinners out of Cassville, Missouri, in the number 25 a blue machine there. Inside row number two is going to be the double zero of James Adams. On his outside, the 134 of Mr. Lenny Coates out of Joplin, Missouri. Bowman and Sinners, row number one, Adams and Lenny Coates, row number two. We'll see if this one has just as much excitement as... Your pure stock heat race number one. The lights are out ready to get it on. After your pure stock is going to be your Midwest Modifieds. <laughs> Dylan Bowman hits that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Well, we are green flag racing. Thank you to Freedom Bank. Sponsoring our green flag this year. Dell Center's up top. Dylan Bowman on the bottom side. Another side-by-side -side race. Dell Center's like looks to clear him as they make their way down the backstretch here. Double zero. James Adams moves up to that third spot. Lenny Coates in fourth. Dell Center's your leader here on lap number one. Dylan Bowman. In that second spot, four tenths of a second behind in that number 69 machine, James Adams in the double zero. Dale Center's running a fast lap of 20.365 that last time by. 
1.114 the distance between him and the 69 of Bowman. Side-by-side -side action with James Adams and Lenny Coates. That battle is for third. Lenny Coates in the 134 scored as your leader there. Dale centers out for Dylan Bowman in that second spot. Lenny Coates starting to catch up to that 69 machine as they make their way down the back stretch. Just eight cents of a second separate your second and third drivers. Just past your halfway point. Dale centers out front of this whole deal. 3.225 seconds over the 69 of Dylan Bowman. Coming a two to go this time by. Flag man Chip Abramovitz acknowledges him, grabs that white flag, ready to get it on this next time by. White flag out for your litter in the number 25 of Dale Sinners. Dylan Bowman holding on to that second spot. Lenny Coates in the 134 wants to take it away from him. Just half a second between the 134 and the 69 machine. Really narrowed that gap there between one and two. Coming around, turns three and four. The number 25, Odell Sitters taking home the win. Sixty-nine, Dylan Bowen coming in that second spot. Dale Sinners taking the win there by four. Taking the win by 4.764 seconds over the 69 of Dylan Bowman. Lenny Coates coming in that third spot in that 134 machine. And James Adams rounding out your field. Lenny Coates running his fastest lap that last time by 20.444. All right, time for your Napa Auto Parts Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race uh, number one. Got three heats tonight in your Napa Auto Parts Power Eye Midwest Modified starting on the pole here for heat race. Number one is going to be the O2 machine out of Sir Cox in Missouri, Eli Ellis. And the O2 on us outside coming all the way from Joplin, the 929 of Garrett Thompson. Inside row number two, the 668 machine out of Highlandville, Missouri. It's going to be Hunter Stutzman. On his outside, the number six coming all the way from 11 in Missouri, Mr. Corey Henson. And starting on the rear, trying to make it two in a row here in your Napa Auto Parts Power Eye Midwest Modifieds. Coming from Independence, Missouri, the 5D of Dustin Dennison. And starting on his outside, the number 64 of Pete Richardson coming all the way from Springfield, Missouri. So Ellison Thompson, row number one, Stutzman. And Henson, row number two, Dennison Richardson. Row number three, put a little moisture on that top side once again. Trying to create the best racing we can here. Going to get all safety equipment and water trucks off the truck, off the track here, rather. We're ready to get it on here in your Nap Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modifieds. Eli Ellis in the 02 machine, Garrett Thompson in the 929.
929, Garrett Thompson and 02 of Eli Ellis. Hit that Ozark Fiber restart zone. We are green flag racing gear. Everybody spreads out the 929 to Garrett Thompson, your leader. We're three wide for the lead coming off of turn number two. Watch out, we got the 668 of Hunter Stutzman. Hunter on that bottom side of the 929 right there out his back door. Garrett Thompson out front of your Napa Parts Midwest Modified Heat Race number one. Thompson out front in that 929. Hunter Stutzman in that second spot. Two tenths of a second between the 668 of Hunter Stutzman and the 929 of Garrett Thompson. Dustin Dennison making his way up to that third spot. He's going to dive her down to try to take that second spot away from Stutzman as they make their way here on lap number two. Working lap number three here now in your Napa Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modifieds here on Show Me Dirt 929 of Garrett Thompson running his fastest lap that last time by 19.270. Hunter Stutzman moves back to that third spot. Dustin Dennison going to take that second spot away. Again, Dennison trying to make it two in a row here in your Napa Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified. Going to try to reel in your 929. Garrett Thompson as he makes his way. We're just past our halfway point. Five out of eight in the books here. Garrett Thompson, your leader. Dustin Dennison in that second spot. Hunter Stutzman in third. Pete Richardson and Eli Ellison. Ellis, rather. Rounding out your top five. Corey Henson making his way around down the back stretch here. Garrett Thompson out front of this thing, 1.283 seconds. Had making his way through three and four. Flagman Chip Adam Mowitz waves the white flag. One more time around for the 929 of Garrett Thompson. Thompson's lead shrinks to a 1.228 now. Dustin Dennison pulling Hunter Stutzman around. Actually, all four. Of your top four starting to get together. That could be interesting in your feature, but it's going to be the 929 of Garrett Thompson taking home the win in your Napa Auto Parts Power Ride. Midwest Modified Heat Race number one, Dustin Dennison coming in second there, 1.121. I made all those numbers up, sorry. 1.120. I wasn't very far off. 929 of Garrett Thompson taking home the win. Dustin Dennison in the 5D taking home second, and Hunter Stutzman. And the 668 rounding out your top three. Nap Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified Heat Race. Number two making their way onto the track now. Starting on the pole for this one's at Springfield, Missouri's Dean Bell in the number 30 B machine on us outside. It's going to be Robert Bell in the number 30 as well. Inside, row number two is going to be Kyle Thompson in the 292, coming all the way from Joplin, Missouri on his outside. Mr. John Dame out of Fairgrove, Missouri in the number 27, and starting in the rear there, number, 20, or number 12X, rather, out of Marionville, Missouri. It's going to be Darren Burt. So Dean Bell, Robert Bell starting on, on the front row there. Kyle Thompson, John Dame right behind him, and Darren Burt picking up the rear. Dean Bell brings them around. Hits that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Green flag racing here. The Bell send her off into one and two. We got a little crossover action right before Dean Bell. Three wide down the back stretch. Robert Bell takes the rear exit. Just too wide for the lead down the front stretch. Kyle Thompson in that 292 out front of this one. 30B of Dean Bell in that second spot. John Day makes his way up in the number 27. He is in that third spot. 
John Dame gets shut down, looking to go way high, trying to get around Dean Bell on that top side. Kyle Thompson led a 292. They were side by side. By side by side as we make our way back there. Going to be a pair of times since taking the wins here. If, we're, if we stay just like we are now, Robert Bell moves back to that third spot. Second spot, rather. Dean Bell in that third spot. John Dame moving up, getting around Darren Burt. A lot of movement from third, fourth, and fifth there. Kyle Thompson out front by two whole seconds, running at 18.995 that last time by over Robert Bell. Robert Bell, 2.437 seconds behind in that number 30 machine. Another second back to the Dean Bell. Kyle Thompson, your leader here. Five in the books. Three to go here in your Napa Auto Parts Midwest Modified Heat Race number two. Kyle Thompson, awfully dominant in this one. Robert Bell breaking away from the rest. He was 2.981 seconds behind that last time by. Falls back another half a second. He was, oh, and something let go in that 30 machine. That is unfortunate. He was running second with white flag. 2.92, a Kyle Thompson out front of this thing. Dean Bell taking over that second spot, a whole straightaway distance between the 292 of Kyle Thompson and Dean Bell. Meanwhile, out front taking the checkered flag. Couple of brothers winning it one after another. All right. One brother won, so the other one had to also. The 292 of Kyle Thompson taking home the win there in your Napa Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified Heat Race number two, Dean Bell. Finishing in that second spot, John Dame rounding out your top three, Darren Burt in that fourth spot. And unfortunately, something let go in that 30 machine of Robert Bell. All right, time for a heat race. Number three starting on the pole is going to be Tommy Steele out of Brookline, Missouri, in the number 42 machine on his outside, the 507 of Doug Testerman coming all the way from Quapaw, Oklahoma. Inside a row number two, Michael Gillis, the number 33 out of Clever, Missouri, on his outside. Current points leader, number 33M of Steve Muhlenberg. And starting in the rear there, multiple-time winner here this year, Steve, him and Steve Muhlenberg. Sun Dance Keeper in the sixth and seventh, starting in the rear. All right, eight laps the distance here in your Napa Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified. Last heat race of your Midwest Modifieds right now. 42 of Tommy Steele out front of this thing. Got a good start. Sundance Keeper coming from the rear. He's all the way up to that second spot on the bottom side of the 33 of Steve Muhlenberg. Muhlenberg up to that second spot. Meanwhile, leading out front, the number 42 of Tommy Steele. Sundance Keeper scored in that second spot. Steve Muhlenberg in third. Got a good run off the middle of the top side. They are door to door going into three and four. Sundance Keeper slides her up. Muhlenberg now on the bottom side of the 6th and 7 eighths machine. Tommy still still out front, running a 19.208. Nine tenths of a second the distance between him and second. Three laps in the books here in our Napa, uh, Napa Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified. 
Sundance keeper running his fastest lap so far with a 19.256. That might be the fastest lap in this race so far. Tommy Still still out front by eight tenths of a second. Keeper narrows that gap to half a second that last time by. We are just past your halfway point in your nap. Auto Parts Power Eye Midwest Modified. Heat race number three, Sundance Keeper. Starting to work that top side, middle, middle top side. Working the middle top side in three and four. Working the bottom through one and two. 42 of Tommy Steele out front by seven tenths of a second here. Just half a second to lead over the six and seven H machine there. Keeper waiting for the perfect moment to pounce here as he's looking at the bottom side. It's now or never. White flag out for the 42 machine of Tommy Steele. Keeper's gonna give it what he's got here on working that bottom side. They make their way down the back stretch just three tenths of a second. It was the separation between the two the last time. Tommy Steele gonna hold on to this one here in your Napa Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified. Heat race, number three, Sundance Keeper coming in a half a second behind him. Steve Muhlenberg, Michael Gillis, and Doug Testerman are rounding out the field there. Tommy Steele taking the win there over the six and seven eighths of Sundance Keeper. Steve Muhlenberg coming in that third spot. Michael Gillis in fourth, and Doug Testerman rounding out your field there. Tommy Steele half a second the distance between him and Sundance Keeper in that six and seven eighths machine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for some A-Mod action here at Motor, Motor Speedway. Got two heat races here. Chasey Cottrell in the 18 machine out of Buffalo, Missouri. Going to start on the pole on his outside. Tyler Grooms in the number 92 from Trenton, Missouri. Inside row number two is going to be Jarek Dotson with the 24-7 machine from Baxter Springs, Kansas on his outside. Current points leader number 73 of Mickey Burrell. Weston Holman's going to start his 34 machine inside row number three on us outside. The number 87 machine of Dwayne Hobbs coming from Buffalo. And starting in the rear there, going to be Danny Miller in the 55M. Looking for that Ozark 5 restart zone. Green flag, here we go. Again, green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. 92, Tyler Grooms, your leader, heading in to, down the back stretch. Watch out, Mickey Burrell already up to that second spot as he looks uh, to get around uh, Chasey Cottrell. Jared Dotson gets a little wild. On that high side through three and four. Top three start to break away. It's going to be Tyler Grooms, Mickey Burrell, and Chasey Cottrell. Grooms, your fastest machine that last time by run 18.727. Grooms looking good out front, extending his lead out to seven tenths of a second, running at 18.642. Mickey Burrow running his fastest lap that last time by 18.764. Third place, Cottrell falls back just a little bit. Weston Holman able to get around him. Jared Dawson looked to the bottom side. He got around Tracy Cottrell's old. Cottrell falling back to that fifth spot. Meanwhile, out front, the 73, Mickey Burrow and Tyler Grooms battling it out for that number one spot. Just four tenths of a second between the 73 and the 92 machine. Burrow working that bottom side as he makes his way down the back stretch. Dives it in deep here. Tyler Grooms on that mid top side. Half a second between a one and two call. 
Weston Holman doing his best to get up in that battle here as we work lap number five coming into turns three and four. Tyler Grooms out front of this thing. Two laps to go here. Mickey Burrell. Working that bottom side. May come in handy later in the feature. Right now he's settling in there at second. White flag coming out for your leader of the 92 of Tyler Groom. Groom's out front by four tenths of a second. Mickey's not going to listen to my words. He's going to try to let it all hang out here as he makes his way through three and four. He'll hold on to that same line. Going to be Tyler Grooms on that 92 taking home the win. And Mickey Burrell coming in second, four tenths of a second behind. Weston Holman coming in third, Jerry Dotson and Tracy Cottrell rounding out your top five. Tyler Grooms out front of this thing. Four tenths of a second, the margin of victory over the 73 of Mickey Burrell. Weston Holman coming in that third spot. Jared Dotson and Tracy Cottrell rounding out your top five there in a USRA A modified heat race number one. All right. Starting here. Your USRA A modified heat race number two on the pole, the double zero out of Billings, Missouri. It's going to be Jesse Stovall on his outside. Mr. Greg Scheffler in that 21 machine coming all the way from Pittsburgh, Missouri. Inside a row number two out of Adair, Oklahoma. It's going to be the number 55 machine of Nathan Hager on his outside. The 03 of Jason Civil out of Bolivar, Missouri. Inside row number three, Mr. Scott Kelly in the 47. Coming all the way from Gravette, Arkansas. And on his outside, Troy Martin. And that nine star from a Wagoneer, Oklahoma. And starting in the rear there, the number 98 of Kitten Allen all the way from Chanute, Kansas. Stovall. Brings him around, hits that loud pedal. Here we go. Stovall ships it into one and two. Already got about a four car lead. Nathan Hager on the bottom side of Scheffler as they make their way down the back stretch. Hager holding on to that second spot now. Jesse Stovall gonna come around lead lap number one. Watch out, Scott Kelly in number 47 machine spinning there in turn number three and four. Joplin lock and key caution flag coming out here. Lights are out, we're ready to get it on. Scott Kelly getting shipped to the back there. Stovall, Scheffler, row number one. Hager and Kitten Allen, row number two now. Stovall looking for that freedom bank green flag as he makes his way through the Ozark five. A restart zone. Here we go. Basically the same result as last time. Kitten Allen wants to make it three wide as we make it. For second spot, Nathan Hager holding on to that second spot for the moment. Jesse Stovall, your leader. We're just three wide all over the track. There are three wide for fifth. Stovall, Hager, and Kit now on your top three here. Jesse Stovall out front of this thing by four tenths of a second over the 55 of Hager. Hager right there on his back bumper. Kitten Allen in that number 98 machine. Hager falls back just a little bit. Allen able to close that gap here.
Jesse Stovall in that double zero out front of this thing by eight tenths of a second. Nathan Hager in that second spot. Kit and Allen rounding out your top three. Scheffler and Civilis. Scott Kelly and the number 47 machine bringing out a second caution. Jesse Stovall out front of this thing here. Five laps in the books, three to go. Scott Kelly going to have to take it to the back to spin rule. We'll see him in the feature there. Jesse Stovall looking good so far. We'll see if he runs with the Heartland series when we host them for the Larry Phillips Memorial here in August. Oh, about one more month away. Going to be a good one. Stovall creeps them around at three and four again, looking for that Ozark fiber restart zone. Hager tries to get a nose in down the bottom side. Hager with a good run down the bottom. Double zero, Jesse Stovall out to the lead here. Watch out the 98 machine. Trying to take a peek at the bottom side, Ken Allen trying to take that second spot away. Jesse Stovall out front of this thing by nine, tenth of a second, almost a whole second over that 155 car. Just past your halfway point here. Jesse Stovall leading every lap so far. Nathan Hager in the 55 machine, currently sitting in second. Kitten Allen in third. Greg Scheffler, Jason Civilis. Rounding out your top five. Jesse Stovall running his fastest lap. He is this close to getting into the 17s, running at 18.112. That last time by, we'll see what he's got for us this time as he takes the white flag here near USRA Modified. He rates number two. Oh, so close, 18.087 out of Jesse Stovall. We'll see if he finishes strong or cruises it in. Stovall leading by two seconds over the 55 of Nathan Hager. Let's see what his lap time is this time. Just a touch slower. Jesse Stovall on the double zero taking the win there. The 55 machine of Nathan Hager coming in second, running a faster best lap. Then Jesse Stovall running at 18.046. Jesse running at 18.087. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for your INX Legends heat race number one. Two heat races there in your Legends class. Going to be six laps the distance here in your heat race. Number one from your INX legend starting on the pole out of Houston, Missouri. It's going to be the number 18 machine of Joe Crum on his outside. Last week's winner of the 01, a chance Gilbert. Coming all the way from Galena, Kansas. Inside row number two, Evan Pyle in the 72 machine out of Wheaton, Missouri on his outside. Mr. Zerny Vess in the 85 coming from Nixa, Missouri. Inside a row number three is going to be Kenny Foster in that 55 machine from Spokane, Missouri. And on his outside, Kaylee Smith in the 83.
Lights are out. We're ready to get it on again. Six laps your distance here. Green flag. Here we go. Three wide for that second spot as they make their way down the front stretch here. We are green flag racing in your INX Legends heat race number one. Chance Gilbert picking up where he left off last time in the 01 machine. He is your leader. Chance Gilbert out front of this thing in the 85 as Zerny Vest in that second spot. Kenny Foster has made his way up to that third position. And Evan Pyle looking to take it away from him there in that fourth spot. Pyle on the bottom side. Foster on the top side in that number 55. Pyle gets into the marbles. Joplin Lock and Key Caution coming out here. 72 machine of Evan Pyle spinning between turn three and four there. The lineup is right. Chance Gilbert looking for that Ozark fire restart zone. Green flag, here we go. Chance Gilbert, your leader here. 55 of Kenny Foster in that second spot now. Zerny Fest falls back to that third spot. What's a good start for the 72 machine of Evan Pyle? He is quickly falling back. 18 and Joe Crum right behind him. Chance Gilbert out front of this thing here. Halfway through your INX Legends. Heat race number one, Kelly Foster in that second spot. Zerny Vest. Well, what happened to Zerny? He was behind a power pole. Gosh, and flag coming out here. Caution coming out here on lap number four. Zorni Vest spinning there between one and two. Lights are out, ready to get it on. Chance Gilbert, your leader. Foster and Evan Pyle making his way back up to that third spot. Green flag, here we go. Chance Gilbert brings him down the back stretch. Evan Pyle getting a little wild as he exits turn at number two there. Chance Gilbert in the 01 machine running his fastest lap that last time by running a 20.774. Kenny Foster in that second spot. Evan Powell in third. Zerny Vest and Joe Crum running out your top five. White flag coming out for your leader here. The 01 at Chance Gilbert. Gilbert, Foster, Powell, your top three. Zerny Vest and Joe Crum running out your top five. Chance Gilbert running a perfect race as he makes his way off a of turn number four right now. Checkered flag for the 0-1. A Chance Gilbert taking home the win. Chance Gilbert taking the win there. Kenny Foster coming in second. Evan Powell rounding out your top three. Zerny Vest and Joe Crum rounding out your top five. Miss Kaylee Smith bringing up the rear of the field. We've got one more INX Legends heat race coming up. After that, I'd like you to meet the 87 Motorsports team. 
They've got some giveaways as we put online there. They've got some hero cards for the kids, and they've got some kids' shirts to give away while supplies last. So they will be underneath the flag stand as soon as we go to intermission. Heat race number two. Starting on the pole is going to be the double zero. A smoke Metcalf coming all the way from Gentry, Arkansas in the double zero. On his outside it's going to be Mike Gilbert in that number 31 coming from Galena, Kansas. Inside a row number two is going to be Phil Berkeybile Jr. in the number 57 machine. I don't see a junior on here, so I'm assuming it is still him. Dave Smith in the 38 machine. He's going to be on his outside all the way from Rogers, Arkansas. Inside a row, number three is going to be number one machine of Tanner Foster out of Spokane, Missouri. And on his outside, Mr. Michael Seitz in the 11 from Moan at Missouri. I get the wife and children of the 80 87 machine. We appreciate them and their support every week here at Monet Motor Speedway, and they just want to give back a little bit to the kids. Of course, the kids are the future of racing here at Monet Motor Speedway, and we appreciate all of you. Smoke Metcalf, your leader. Smoke Metcalf was your pole sitter, but out front's the 31 of Mike Gilbert. Phil Berkeybaugh already to the bottom side. He's looking to take away that second spot away from the one machine of Tanner Foster. Coming around lead lap number one. It's going to be the 31 machine of Mike Gilbert. Mike Gilbert, your leader there on lap number one. Tanner Foster in that second spot. Phil Berkeybaugh Jr. rounding out your top three. Foster all over the back seat. Ball in that second spot. Mike Gilbert out front of this thing. Four tenths of a second over the 57 of Earl Berkey Ball Jr. Good run for Berkey Ball. He's going to make his way down the back stretch. Going to try to run that top and middle side. Dives are down to the bottom. Looking for a good run. Coming through one and two. Foster. May take away that second spot as a result of it. Mike Gilbert, your leader here, just past your halfway point. Going to be a three-car battle for the lead here. Mike Gilbert, still your leader. Two to go that last time by. Mike Gilbert out front of this thing. Tanner Foster taking over that second spot. He'll look to the top side. Foster looking for the lead here on the white flag lap. Mike Gilbert still your leader. Phil Berkey Bob Jr. falls back to that third spot. Down the back stretch they go. Mike Gilbert. And it is. It's going to be Mike Gilbert taking home the win. Tanner Foster coming in that second spot. Phil Berkey Bob Jr. Coming in third, Michael Seitz rounding out your top four. Dave Smith rounding out the top five. All right, looks like we got... Stop it. Looks like we got run, going to run a couple laps here. That'll bring us to our intermission. All right. If you've got kids or you are kids, stop. Go down and visit my friends, Team 87 Motorsports. They're giving away hero cards and uh, kids' shirts while they last. Now's the time. We're going to have a quick intermission, get you a cheeseburger, hamburger, hot dog, stretch your legs, use the restroom. We'll be back. <laughs> 